So the, the title is, as fighter pilots, we always take off into the wind because we need resistance to ascend. And I contend our, our lives are, are no different and um, that we're all going to have struggles. We're going to have resistance in our lives, but um, our resilient spirit or lack thereof is going to determine, you know, our life and the trajectory in our life. And this book is, you know, a, a powerful code of living that I live by every day that really allows people to engineer a resilient spirit um, in, in their lives. And I think as fighter pilots, we're probably better than most at taking in copious amounts of information and then prioritizing that information. And I think at its core, Fly Into the Wind, the book, you know, allows people to pause and really evaluate their lives and prioritize, you know, what is important. And I give you the bones to do that, which is my personal code of living. Obviously, everybody's is going to be different, um, but I'm, you know, really prayerful and, and feel blessed and honored to share this with people. And I think it's going to help a lot of folks, especially, man, as we're coming out of 2020, we've all been flying into the wind and, and looking to the future. But uh, I'm, I'm really excited about this. And people can get the book out on Amazon or any place you buy books, Walmart, Target, Sam's Club. And uh, we're number one on a few lists out there. So I think the message is resonating with, uh, with people. Yeah, I, I read it last week and it felt, you know, I think you had mentioned that it, the book was delayed a little bit and, and got released, you know, later. And it almost worked out perfectly to be released later in, in a sense of we're one month out from 2021, a, a nice fresh start. Um, and, and you talked in the book, you talk about, is it, uh, is it Kavu ceiling and ceiling and yeah. ability unrestricted and then the L. Yeah, so, yeah, so CAVU is a fighter pilot acronym that stands for Ceiling Invisibility Unlimited Unrestricted, but it's like those infinite blue skies that are the perfect days to be fighter pilots. Um, I contend our lives are, are no different. We're, our lives are unlimited, uh, but there are a lot of key things that you have to do to unlock the potential of your life. And as I say, I outline a bunch of those in the book, things that have, have worked for me, but but also um, people that have accomplished a lot more than me and be able to condense it down and kind of a paint by numbers, if you will, code of living that, that I call Cavu in the book. So one of the things that, that stuck out to me was it was, I think it was, it's called synchronicity and there was the fluid synchronicity and you talked about the number 13, it constantly, you know, re recurred in your life. What kind of made you first notice that and first match that up with synchronicity and, and things like that? Yeah. So synchronicity, I define it as chance with a purpose. And to your point, there's fluid synchronicity and game changing synchronicity, but these fluid moments are, it's like a running conversation with God. And for me, um, it's manifested itself through the number 13 and it's, it's a biblical number. There's 12 apostles in the Bible, Jesus is number 13. And you look for the, the real meaning of the number 13, it stands for new beginnings, which makes sense when you tie it back to the Bible. And uh, I was uh, wrote this book and honestly, and a big point of personal struggle for me when I was trying to, you know, control the day and kind of an uncontrollable world. And this number 13 started popping up everywhere. And at first I thought it was very ominous, uh, but then would discover that this was actually, you know, God pulling me along. Uh, when, when I desperately needed it in my life. And I mean, to this day, I, I see 13s all the time. I'm looking at the time right now and it's 14, 13, right? Okay. Right when we're having this conversation. So perfect example of this fluid synchronicity, but you gotta be watching for God in your life. Um, and if you are, he will show himself. Uh, and that's the, I think one of the most beautiful things I'm able to share in the book is that this, this conversation of, of affirmation and this divine current is in your life and present every day, but you're not going to find it buried on Instagram and your phone um, and all the stuff that, you know, I think we waste time doing and, and we don't prioritize our, our energy in the right way. For me also, you know, with, with COVID and everything, you had mentioned just taking that daily walk with your family, your wife and your five girls. And I think a lot of people may take advantage of that and not realize it until we're in a situation where we can't really go anywhere. And that hour long walk outside really changes the entire pace of our day or gives us that one thing to look forward to. Yeah. And, and I, I, there's a lot of simple, really executable things that people can incorporate into their day that will definitely add fulfillment, uh, bring happiness into your world. And uh, you know, all the scientific uh, research behind, I call it forest bathing in the book, but just getting outside, man, taking, for me, it's, you know, I have a dog, Bravo service dog. Um, 
but just getting out giving yourself that gift, something to look forward to. And, you know, um, it's the, the rewards are infinite and there's lots of those little nuggets, if you will, in, in the book to incorporate in our lives.